Hello and welcome to Stotch Ross Maths key skill video on adding and subtracting small numbers in standard form. Now we saw in the previous video one method was to just convert both of these standard form numbers to normal numbers then add them together and then convert back to standard form. So let's do that as our method one. If we convert this to a normal number do you remember the trick was the number of zeros, including the one before the decimal point, has to be the same as that number there. So we've got three zeros and then three two. And then we've got this other number, four times ten to the minus four. So put the point here, we're going to have four zeros, so one, two, three, four. Put the four here. So there, these two numbers as normal numbers, add them together, and that's going to give you 0 0.0036. And then we convert that back into standard form. That's going to be 3.6, because that's a number between 1 and 10. And we've got three zeros on the front, so it'll be 10 to the power of minus 3. So that's method 1. And that will work, provided these two numbers are not too far away from 0. But if you imagine this is like, say, 10 to the minus 100, that's going to make this method very hard, because you're going to have to like, write out 100 zeros on the front. So the clever way to do it is this method 2. And we saw in the previous video that we convert the numbers to the higher power. So the one with the higher index. So if we look at these two numbers here, which one has a higher index? Well, minus 3 is greater than minus 4. So that's the one we're going to keep as it is. So 3.2 times 10 to the minus 3. But we're going to convert this other one so that it's also 10 to the minus 3, this higher power. Now, this index is increased by 1 from minus 4 to minus 3. That means it's 10 times bigger if the index has gone up by 1. Therefore, to compensate, I have to make that 4 10 times smaller. So 4 becomes 0 0.4. And because now we have consistent indices here, we can easily add these numbers together. It's a bit like like terms. We've got 3.2 lots of 10 to the minus 3, and we're adding 0.4 lots of 10 to the minus 3. So in total, we have 3.6 lots of 10 to the minus 3. And can you see that this number is conveniently in standard form? And the advantage of this method is that we didn't have to convert either of these numbers to normal numbers first.